This is a nice crystal, an ordinary Lego piece. They're commonly used as symbols on Elsa's castle or firework displays like the Lunar New Year set and the Disney castle. They can also be placed on Christmas trees and multiple ice crystals can be combined to make a larger crystal. But today, I'm going to show you 25 ways to use them that will blow your mind. Let's go! Maybe you haven't guessed, but ice crystals can be placed on minifigures. For example, take this Iron Man nano suit. How about upgrading it to look way cooler? You can use ice crystals, install laser guns around the parts, attach a neck bracket to Iron Man, and finally, place the ice crystal on his back. It looks like Iron Man is firing all his weapons. Let's not forget the final battle in Avengers Endgame, where Thor and Iron Man combine their powers. We can use ice crystals to mimic Thor's lightning by installing many cones in the middle, then attaching clips on both sides to fix panels. Finally, fix one side of the ice crystal to the base, making it look like Thor is charging up Iron Man, who is firing laser guns. It's simple but effective. We can also insert a bar with a tow ball into the ice crystal, add a wheel, and create a spinning top. But it's challenging to rotate the top by hand, so we need a spinning top launcher. Using a large gear to drive a small gear achieves a tremendous acceleration, and adding an elastic band provides power. Surprisingly, the ice crystal spinning top is very stable. We can also try adding a round brick and cone to the ice crystal for interesting details, creating a larger top. This reminds me of the spinning top toys that I used to have. When the top doesn't spin, it falls directly. However, when we turn on the motor switch, the top automatically stays balanced, even if we tilt the entire power base. This is the conservation of angular momentum, and this idea was also applied to the smartphone gyroscopes. Have you ever thought about becoming a ninja? Connect multiple LEGO teeth parts to the ice crystal, and you'll have a ninja throwing star. Back to the ice crystal, the minifigure posing stand can be used in combination. The posing stand can be installed around and even illegally assembled. We can install it in the middle of the ice crystal. By using headlight bricks and cheese slopes in three directions, I made Iron Man's third generation arc reactor. It looks very cool, especially at night. By the way, I made a LEGO Gumball machine that works with real coins and gumballs. If you like it, please go to the LEGO IDEA website and hit the support button. Your help means a lot to me. Many thanks! The ice crystal can also be used to connect bricks of different shapes, creating unique formations, such as this roulette triangle. When it rolls, the highest point remains constant, and the triangular wheels can run smoothly. It can also transform into a Wanko engine, a compact and niche type of engine, which has a higher power-to-weight ratio than a piston engine. You'll find that round with open stud and ice crystals are a perfect match. This way, you can install more parts around the ice crystal. Bricks, tiles, minifigs, bars, slopes, and even technique parts. It fits almost any LEGO parts. By adding some adjustments, I can easily build a wall with two sides that features Bruce Wayne on the one side and Batman on the other side. I'm Batman! With two ice crystals, you can create an internal support for a cylinder. Attach six tiles and you have a cylinder. Using this principle, you can also install different wall details to create medieval castle walls. Using four ice crystals with round bricks arranged alternately, you can get a larger support. Install 12 tiles around it and you'll get an even larger cylinder. In fact, I used this structure to build the trunk of my Christmas tree. We can also use hinge plates to install wedge plates around the ice crystal, making it look like a starfish. If you fold and gather six wedge plates, you will form a roof. It's very clever. We can also install slopes around the ice crystal, creating legs of a mech. If you adjust the angle of the slopes to horizontal, a wheel-like appearance is achieved. Using a longer bar as the hub, you get a larger wheel. 
I made a stand for it and completed a Ferris wheel. This is a claw, and if you attach it to a minifig and clean it to a nice crystal, it becomes a hub for multiple minifigs, just like this Spider-Man mock I got from Faraway Bricks. I also found that jump plates can be directly installed around, forming something close to a hexagon. I've made many special wheel vehicles before, and this time I installed it on the previous LEGO drive base. Surprisingly, it can run quite smoothly. In daily life, we often use fans, but when I made this LEGO fan, the blades are flat so the fan doesn't generate any airflow. But if I use clip plates to fix the plates and then fix the blades to the ice crystal, I am able to adjust the angle of the blades. This way, the fan can generate a swirling airflow just like a real fan, producing a real breeze. I think the next idea is kind of insane. I used ice crystal in a mechanism, not just for different shapes. We can use bar with light cover parts to install around the ice crystal, creating a gear. Due to the circular shape of the edge, there is no obvious jamming between gears, and they can rotate smoothly. Of course, they can also be vertically driven. If you place a platform on top, it can be used as a rotating display stand for LEGO models, such as this LEGO Gundam that I built before. When you don't have large gears, this ice crystal is an excellent alternative. Earlier, I built a perfect circle. If you remove one of the slopes and install another ice crystal with a round brick on one side, you will get a core component of the Geneva Drive. It's a gear mechanism that translates a continuous rotation movement into intermittent rotary motion. The mechanism is frequently used in mechanical watches since it can be made small and is able to withstand substantial mechanical stress. I also tried using ice crystals to build a flower. First, I vertically installed slopes around it using clips, then created two identical petals that interlock vertically. Afterward, I made a relatively small petal, similarly interlocked. Next, I attached the smaller flower to a bar and inserted it into the ice crystal, the same illegal build I used before. This completed the flower, and adjusting the angles of the petals made it look quite appealing. Most of the previous constructions were done on a flat surface, but how can we use ice crystals to create a three-dimensional structure? Inspired by a soccer ball, we can use 20 hexagons and 12 pentagons to construct a regular sphere. I used 20 ice crystals and interconnected them with a hinge structure. Astonishingly, I successfully created a fully authentic three-dimensional polygonal structure.